Mm. Hello? I'm someone there. Oh. You're really cute. And who are you? Oh. I know you. You're, um... You're someone's roommate, right? One of my friend's roommates? I think. Right. Yeah. You know, I was actually at a party at her place tonight. It was so much fun. And the food was so good. And so were the drinks. Like... Holy shit, so good. Someone even brought those, like, um, those cherries? You know? The ones in the jars? Mmm, no, not, not those ones. Oh, those, they did, they did have some of those too. I put like 20 of those ones on my ice cream. Oh, that's so good. I would eat them forever. If I could. Oh, but, um, I meant the other ones, like, the, um, the alcohol ones. Yeah, moonshine. Those are the ones. <laughs> uh... Anyway, yeah, uh, it was a great party. You should have been there. It was fantastic. Oh, you were? Really? Hmm. I don't remember seeing someone as cute as you at the party. I'm sure I would have remembered you. Gotcha. Well, that sucks. But why were you late? Oh, really? I hate having work right before a party. It's so annoying, because, like, how am I supposed to get ready in time? Yeah, because, you know, first you gotta get dressed. Then you gotta find something to bring, and then you gotta look up the address, and make sure you know where it is. It's just small stuff, but like, it all has to happen, and usually work runs too long to get it done on time, you know? Yeah, well, true. I'm just not good at time stuff. I hate working before parties. But at least you got to come for most of the party, so that's good. Yeah, it was so fun, right? I don't remember a whole lot, but I definitely had a great time. Oh yeah? Well, how do you like it? I mean, for the time you actually got to be there. Hmm, yeah, that's fair. Parties can be really exhausting. Especially if you had work before. If I were you, I'd want to go to bed and get some sleep. You're planning on it? Oh, well, that's good. Just remember, be careful getting home. It would be a shame to see someone as cute as you get hurt. Uh-huh. What do you mean? How could you already be home? We don't live together. Wait, really? But I thought this was my... Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, I actually don't remember leaving the party. So if I didn't leave, 
then I must still be at the party. And if I'm at the party, then I'm in a bedroom in the house the party was at. But this room doesn't look familiar, so whose room am I in? Oh, it's your room? That's cool. You've got a really cool room. It's very... warm. Thank you. Well, you seem like a warm person. Like the kind of person I could cuddle. Yeah. You look very cuddleable. Mm hmm. Really cuddleable. Like one of those big teddy bears that you can win at like carnivals and fairs and stuff. Except you seem even more cuddleable because you're not covered in fur and won't suffocate me in my sleep. I mean, hopefully. You. You, you wouldn't suffocate me in my sleep, would you? Right? Please? Maybe? Hmm. Well, what if I promise to not steal the blankets and let you choose what side of the bed you want to sleep on? Hmm. Yay. You're so nice. Mm, yep. Very nice and very cuddleable. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... The longer I look at you, the more I want to cuddle you. And also maybe kiss you on the cheek. And you've got a very kissable face too. Yeah, like, you look like you'd smile when I kiss you, and your smile would be so cute that I would just have to kiss you more, you know? Just a very cute, kissable, lovable face. So, no kisses. But what about cuddles? Can I at least have cuddles? Oh, come on. Please. I want to cuddle you so much. I'm really good at cuddling, I swear. Yeah, really. Like, my chest is super comfy to lay on. And everyone says that I'm really good at hugging. So you'll be so comfortable. Oh, and I'm warm, too. And not to mention that I'm already in your bed. And, uh, I might be a little too drunk to get up without help. So, unless you want to help me to another bedroom, or to that couch downstairs. I'm going to be staying right here. Well then come here. I promise I'm a good cuddler and I won't do anything rude. I won't even kiss you on the cheek. Not even if you ask me to. Mm -mm, nope. Not even once. I wait to kiss until at least the end of the first date. Because I want to be a gentleman for whoever I date, you know? I want to be a good boyfriend. I also bring them flowers. Yeah, totally. I'd bring you whatever flowers you want. And at the end of the night, I'd walk you up to your door and kiss your hand and tell you to have a good night and 
then I'd send you a nice text the next day. Mm, I'd definitely do all of that if we went on a date. You seem really cool, and I'd absolutely want to be a perfect gentleman for you. Mm, okay, cool. That sounds like a great idea. Going on a date with you would be a lot of fun. And I'd get the chance to show you just how good of a date I can be. Sweet. So where do you want to go for our date? You can pick anywhere you want. I'm cool with anything. Sure. That sounds great. Um, when do you want to go? Yeah, that's perfect. Text me tomorrow so I have your address and I can pick you up, okay? Oh, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait to date you. <laughs> Wait, wait, even if we haven't gone on a date yet, can we still cuddle? Because I still really want to cuddle you right now, but I don't want to do anything too early. You think so? Hmm, you're right. It, and it would be super ungentlemanly of me to kick you out of your bed. So it would be way better for us to cuddle. Yeah, let me just scoot over a bit so you have some room. Mm. Mm. There we go. Mm, come here. I really want to cuddle. Mm. Mm. See? That's it. I told you that my chest is a great pillow. Can I... Can I wrap my arms around you? Mm-hmm. I knew it. You're super cuddleable. Perfect for cuddling. Yep. Perfect. Mmm, so cuddleable. I can't wait to do more of it. More of this after we start dating. <sighs> mm, well, yeah, of course. You're super cool and funny and cute. So, of course, I want to date you. And we're already going on a date, so all we have to do after that is go on another date. And then another date. And then another date. And then another date. And then we'll be dating. Oh. Then I just gotta make sure that you wanna go on another date, right? And I'm gonna try my best to make you want a second date. Okay? Good. Then I'll have to remind myself to ask what kind of flowers you like and what kind of chocolates too. And then I'll have to... Hmm? Oh, right. We should probably go to bed now. Your headache is probably pretty bad right now. Just lay your head down and I'll be quiet, okay? I'll just cuddle you and keep you warm. I'll be your big teddy bear from a carnival game tonight. Except without all the fur or the button nose or the bow around my neck. Still cuddly though. I'm still cuddly. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quiet now. Sleep.
sleep well. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'll see you again when I wake up. Mm. It'll be the best way to wake up, like, ever. Mm. Headache? But if you're the one with the headache right now, why would I have a headache when I wake up? Oh, right. I forgot that I drank so much. Oh well. At least it ended up with me getting to meet you. And that makes it all worth it. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'll even think so when I wake up. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, if you think I'm wrong, then let's race to see. Whoever falls asleep first will wake up first, and then they'll get to see who was right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But I'm gonna race you anyway. I'm gonna quit talking to you now so I can focus on sleeping. <gasps> Good night. Can't wait to see you again, cutie.